Do you think you can take some medicine? Lay down your fever. Throat hurts. Parker! Sorry I couldn't find out. You were in the medicine cabinet, right? Find this bottle. Where? They were shoved in a drawer in the table next to JJ's bed. You please go upstairs and keep Sage occupied. Sure. She has a play date at Morgan's at 10. Would you walk her over, please? It's all right. It'll be all right. All right, get out. Come on. Let's get you to the car, all right? Yeah, Snyder. Hey, Jack. JJ's sick. Oh, man, Carly, I... Listen, I can't stay with him today. I'm, I'm working on this case. It's about to blow. I'm taking him to the emergency room. Oh, okay, okay, I'll meet you there. Strep is usually very painful. Are there no symptoms? None that I, that I knew about. Um, he's probably been, been taken to leave. How many, how often? I'm not sure. But he would have followed the instructions on the bottle. I guess we should make sure. No, we'll do that. We'll bring down an x-ray to check his lungs and heart. His heart? It's just a precaution. I have to ask you to wait out here for a little bit. No, you know, I, I, I would prefer to, to stay with him. Just let us get this done, and then you can come in and see him. Say it. I should have known. I should have seen it. Hey, what about me? He was complaining about a sore throat. I didn't even question it. I just... <laughs> the hell was I thinking? JJ. Well, I have confirmed the strep. And for now, that's all we need to deal with. For now. Certain complications can develop, which strep, uh, rheumatic fever, cardiac complications. How can it affect his heart? Has anyone in your family had rheumatic fever? Uh, JJ's adopted. We're not sure of his genetic history. Well, at this point, his x-rays are clear, and there's no sign of anything more complicated than the strep. I'll send you home with a list of symptoms to look out for, just in case. And he's going to need complete bed rest for the next 24 to 48 hours. Any uh, medicine? Uh, antibiotics and an anti-inflammatory. I'll write those up for you and uh, get his discharge papers going. Then you can take them home. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Hey, listen, you know what? I can take a personal day and hang out with JJ if you got to get back to Metro. No, 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 no. There's no way I'd leave him now. Pain meds. The doctor prescribed for him knocked him out. He's sleeping like a baby. Speaking of babies, check this out. Sage's baby monitor. <laughs> When's the last time we used this? I set this up in his room, so if he needs anything, we'll hear him. He probably hasn't had a good night's sleep in weeks, Jack. He never let on. He didn't want us to know, Carly. When he wakes up, we're going to have a long talk with that boy. No, it's like he was afraid to make waves. It's like he wanted to be very, very careful so the rug didn't get pulled out from under him. I can relate. Hey, listen. Why don't you go grab a nap? Oh, no. You couldn't have gotten more sleep last No, I'm, I'm too wound up to sleep. Okay, then go relax in a tub or something. Come on, I'll hear him. I promise. Jack, what if this turns into something terrible? It won't. Dad, is, is everything all right? Is JJ okay? Hey, he's sleeping. I just wanted to get the other thermometer. And you couldn't wait? You had to waltz in here while I make it? I didn't really think about it, Carly. Dad, you can't do it anymore. Did you find the thermometer?
There's nothing in that tub I haven't seen before, Carly. Well, that may be. But you're not seeing any of it today. I could wash your back. <laughs> Get out! It's over. <laughs> good for you. You made me laugh. Mm -hmm. And for my next trick, I'm going to make you fall asleep. Come on, lie down. You know, we don't both need to be here. You can go back to work. I can handle this. Carla, I wouldn't feel comfortable leaving any more than you would. Don't fight me on this. Lie down, please. But I'm not going to sleep. <laughs> I'm too worried. Come on, he's a tough kid. Uh-huh. Too tough. <clears throat> Did you hear something? No, he's fine. Please close your eyes. Thank you. Now, think of... Think of late summer. August. JJ's completely fine. He's playing baseball, building a fort with Sage. Sure. Fighting with Parker. <laughs> Two of them screaming at the top of their lungs. Um, that sounds nice. Does JJ really have strep? Yep, he really does. Thanks for helping out today. Yeah, I just want JJ to get better. I mean, we may fight and everything, but still. You know, you're allowed to say you love him. So am I gonna have to like move out of the room and fumigate everything that he's touched? <laughs> and... No, that might not be a bad idea. He's gonna have to stay in bed for a while. Is he gonna get better in time for camp? Probably not. Looks like you're going to be doing that on your own this summer. Uh, do you still need me to help you? Like with JJ or anything? No, your dad's here. Between the two of us, we've got things covered. Great, then I'm going to go for a bike ride. Okay, good time. Be careful. Who's that on the phone? Holden. I want you to call him. What's up? Oh, hey, you really rushed right over here, didn't you? I was in the neighborhood. I got your message. It seemed urgent. Oh, um, well, I, I was on TV today. Doing what? Um, made people square mostly. It was fun. It's great. Is that it? No. Uh, okay. I, I thought you may want to see this. They're looking for tennis counselors? Yes. Uh, in summer camp here in civilization. I thought it seemed right up your alley, but then I realized you're going to be making little plaster ashtrays in kitty camp. So, you know, I'll just take that. Oh, no, oh, you know well. what? Maybe it wouldn't hurt to just check it out. 